Welcome back to uh, the CT70 Garage. My hope today is to get this 1977 Honda CT70 that we've got a video series going on. This is video number five. If you uh, need to go back and watch the other four. Um, but today our hope is to get it into a roller, uh, maybe get most of the front end parts put on. I won't get to the electrical yet. Pro, you know, I'm guessing I won't, but uh, I'm gonna start by let's get. In, I'd like to get some wheels on this thing. So I start by just kind of setting. There's a little spacer. I set that little spacer right on the edge of the axle. Just kind of put it in there. Take my brake plate make sure you put your wheel adjusters on there Obviously, we haven't got a chain yet or on, put on it, so we're not going to tighten it up or anything. But Let's see if I can find the hardware for the, the brake stay. Excuse me, walk in front of you. And I found the bolt. But I don't see the rest of the hardware, so I'm going to shut you off for a second and grab that to finish putting that together. There are so many little pieces that go on these bikes. And because this was a basket case, I kind of tried to go through everything. But I'm just now realizing there I don't have the little spring that fits over that. Um... So we're just going to go ahead and, and move forward without it. I'm just going to put some washers on it to uh, take up the space. Really all this uh, arm does is just keeps this, uh, just keeps this brake hub from spinning. So We're just going to do that. It'll be fine. I've got a spring up on this on this post. But uh, we're not going to worry about it. All right. Uh, while well, I got you back here, let's go ahead and grab the uh, the foot brake parts and the rod and let's let's put that on there. I'm not going to bend that yet, just in case I need to take that off. The spring. See how the that section of it is centered? And that one is off to one side. That's the top that goes on the post up here. So put your spring on so that that is on the back toward the toward the post. And I'm realizing I forgot the little washer and the cotter pin for that, but let me get this put on. So we got a little barrel that fits in there.
And since we don't have the chain and have this, the wheel adjusted where we want it, I'm not going to worry too much about that. But that's how that works. So I need to find the uh, washer and a cotter pin to go on that to finish that part of it up. Let's go ahead and that one. What the heck? We shouldn't have to take it off again. Ah, my phone's ringing. Go ahead, go ahead and throw the exhaust on. If you haven't seen it, I've got a video that I've posted that shows how I modify the bracket up here to get that to fit so you can go back and watch that uh, I need to throw a gasket in there get it to stay up in there while I get my fingers out The original style exhaust used a little bracket right here, uh, as well as the ones on the end. These aftermarket exhausts don't have that, and I, so I never use it. I don't, you know, don't have anything there. I've never had a problem. Uh, it would be simple enough to weld on something there if you felt like you needed it, but. Get on there. All right, I'll have to grab a 10 millimeter to tighten those up. Wow, starting to come together. Uh, I need to get the spring for the brake switch and I'm gonna put this cover on and then we'll move to the front tire. why they don't come with that already on there. I've yet to figure that out. But they don't. Anytime you buy one of these lichens, it's missing it. I should have put this spring inside this one before I and installed it all at once, but I forgot. So we're going to see if I can get the brake switch spring to fit down in there. Yeah, looks like we're gonna be all right. And it just goes down and then hooks on the bottom part of the spring. And then the brake switch, the part that pulls down, has a little eyelet, has a little hole in it. And the spring just fits in that hole. Like that. And so when you press on the brake, you pull down on that pin, which then makes the connection inside the switch to turn the brake light on. All right, let's gather up some front end parts and put a front tire on it. Uh, before we put the front tire on, we're going to put a front fender on it.
and it has three bolts that holds it on. One is a uh, screws into the bottom of the bottom clamp here, and then the other two are longer that go down through and then bolt underneath. I'm just going to tighten those down. I'll be right back. Well, dummy me is just now realizing that uh, I didn't put a tall enough piece in my build stand. And my tire, I'm higher. I need to lift the whole bike up. So I'm actually going to take it off of the stand and put it on this little scissor lift that I have. isn't working at all so try and do it without letting the bike fall off See what happens here. I got one more bolt. All right. And I thought I'd let the camera roll just so that if I screw it up, you'll see that I screw things up too. So don't ever worry. Don't ever ever worry about messing something up. Let's try that. Let's get this tire out of the way in case I don't want to run the forks into it. So my hope is is to pick the front end of this up, maybe throw the stand out of the way and set the engine on this lift. Wish me luck. Didn't go too bad. So now we have to lift the thing up high enough. These little lifts are pretty handy. Is that going to get us where we want? Oh yeah, we're more than high enough. So we need to get the brake hub, the axle, and the speedometer gear, and so we can put all this together. All right, so the first thing I do is install the speedometer gear into the two slots on the back side of, of the wheel. If you aren't familiar with that, there should be a video early in my channel that, look, that uh, goes over how to install that. You might go and look that up. I put the speedometer gear on. Then I put the brake hub on. Gotta get everything inside. Let's let the forks down just a little bit. Oh yeah, this these little lifts, man, are really pretty nice. So As you can see, this is what I was talking about in the last video about getting the forks on the correct side. This fork has that little raised spot there that fits in where for the brake hub to keep the brake hub from spinning. You need to make sure you get this fork on the left side. As you can see, the fork on the right side doesn't, doesn't have that. And they will fit in the wrong spot, so it is easy easy to do if you're 
All right, so now I've got it somewhat lined up. Let's get our axle. Looks like we now need to come back up a little bit. Let's get everything lined up right. There is a washer. And a nut. So we will get that all tightened down. All right, so we've got the axle tightened down. Got plenty of clearance on our tire. Let's uh, let our lift down. Oh, yeah. All this to. I do not have oil in the, uh, in the front fork yet. this and see if we can roll it. Yay! And it sits in our stand. Alright, let me uh, gather up a few more parts here. I'm not sure exactly where you guys are looking, but uh, I'm going to get the speedometer and a headlight and some more of the front end parts. All right, so I have put some fork oil, uh, 15 weight in it. I think you can use ATF also. Uh, put, put some fork oil in each one. I, I believe it's three to four ounces, so I put three ounces in each one. We will get it put together and adjust, take away or add more. Uh, I, I had pretty much drained them, so they were empty. So I'm thinking three ounces, I might even have to add a little bit more, we'll see. Um, to get the right stiffness of ride that I want. My battery on my phone is almost dead, so we will stop here for today, and uh, I'll get this charged up, and we will pick this up tomorrow and get the rest of this front end put on. All right, guys, it is actually a couple days farther down the road from when the video just ended. Uh, I didn't touch this bike over the weekend. So I'm trying to familiarize myself with what we've done, what we haven't done. Today, I only have a couple hours to work on it. Uh, I want to get it into looking like a somewhat finished bike. It won't have the electrical in it. And we're not going to start it today, but... Hopefully when we get done, we stand back and we look at it and we go, okay, yeah, it's, I put the wrong socket on there. I had the right one to begin with. Now I know, I know I don't have the tank or battery box or anything like that in there, but uh, man, a seat just makes it look so much more complete, doesn't it? So we wanna, wanna do that. Let's see, what do we want to do? Let's, uh, let's get this area done. Let's get you down a little bit. And I'm sorry if you're going to be looking at the back of my head a little bit here. I'm going with a 1535 on this. I would have liked to have went with maybe a 16 up front, but I didn't have one in stock. And so a 15 it is. You know, that's one of those things that's pretty easy to go back and change if you need to. Come on, get on there. Okay. You know what? I'm not even going to take the time. I'll come back and finish that just for speed sake of uh, the video. So we've got chain on. 
I think we can go ahead and put the cover over the stator. Put that on. I think I put the wrong screws in the wrong spot. Let's see, are those the same? Yeah, they are the same. That was just barely, it's only catching a thread or two. I'm gonna have to go back and put a longer I'm gonna have to put a longer one up here in the front. That doesn't have enough threads to, I don't like the way that doesn't catch that. Now I went ahead and prepared this chain guard and got it ready to fit this Lifen engine. I had to modify the opening here. If you need to see how to do that, there is a, a video that is specific to that on my channel. You can go back and look up Lifen chain guard. You should be able to... Uh, find that and what I do to get that to fit It's a little too high. I don't know about where you guys are at, but the weather is turning nice here in central Indiana. I actually got to ride a little bit yesterday. I about 15 or 20 miles on one of my little CT70s that it has a actually has a life in 90 cc engine in it it's a it's an old one okay so we've got that we've got the engine guard that we can put on Okay, before I tighten those up all the way, let's get some get some of the hardware up here. A lot of guys say you can't get the engine guard to fit with the life and engine. You can. You gotta kinda tweak it and muscle a little bit. It'll go. Let's see, it didn't tighten up underneath.
think I've said it before, be, be careful tightening up stuff into the aluminum. You don't want to over torque it and rip the threads out. Okay, I think I'm going to move you guys to the other side. You know what? Let's go ahead and put the uh, let's put the carburetor on it while, you, while I have you over here. And these are different bolt patterns. I don't believe it's possible to mix it up, get your intake switched. I think it'll only bolt on one, one way if I'm correct. bought the uh, complete set with this engine comes with a PZ 22 carb has an o-ring has a spacer that has an o-ring make sure that you get the o-ring from the spacer against the intake and then the o-ring from the carb goes against the flat part of the intake don't put the o-ring to o-ring or you won't Probably won't get a good seal. I like these carbs because they have a captured nut on them. So all you need to do is just stick a bolt in there. I'm not going to tighten that down because I may have to pull that carb back off to get that slide out of there to put the uh, throttle cable. Let's see. And I'm not gonna put that in its holder either because if I pull that carb back off, it acts like it wants to go down that side better though. Yeah, we'll probably run it down that side. Okay, let's, uh, now let's move to the other side of the bike for a second. I've shown this in other videos too. Uh, this lower shield that comes with the Chinese exhaust. Uh, I don't have it here. I thought I had it here. The bottom part of it, the where the screw, where the bolt for the bracket goes, interferes with the engine cradle, and you can't you can't really get it on there. So what I do is I just trim, I just cut that guard in half just enough to where it sticks down below the spark plug guard here on the cradle. And that's good enough for me. It, it gives the illusion that it has a, a guard and it does have a guard, I guess. It's not an illusion, but it's a you're you're not gonna get burnt down there anyway.
All right. I think we're ready to move up to the handlebars. So let's get you raised up here. Pull it up in there. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm sure how I need to do that yet well we can always pull it back out uh, we've got a horn mounts to this ear over here Before I put the headlight on, it might be easier to put the turn signals on. This is the orange one. Should be the left one. Orange wire. Uh, you know what? I messed that up. I forgot that I got this. Washers on the wrong side. And this one is a blue, has a little blue piece on the wire to show the right side. Now I'm gonna do a separate video all on its own on the wiring. So we're gonna have today's video that will get the bike pretty much put all together. Then we're gonna do a separate video, standalone video, where we do all the wiring. And then there will be one last video where we've got the wiring installed and we wrap up a few little details and then take the bike for a ride. So, so there will be basically two more this video and one more on the build and then a separate video on the on the wiring and I gotta get a screwdriver I put this headlight together to make sure it would fit and now I can't get it apart there we go I have not tightened up 
the uh, up here these yet, so I, these will still move. some adjustments here to get it all fit. Mm -mm. You know, I reworked these four gears. I may have them too straight. Get on there. All right, I gotta get a wrench. Hang on a second. You know what I did? I forgot to put the uh, speedometer cable on. And that's going to be a pain in the butt with that uh, with that headlight in there. Somebody, somebody knew it, didn't you? Somebody said, hey, uh, you're forgetting something. Let's take it back off. It'll make it a lot, uh, make it a lot easier if we have the Headlight out of the way. No, you can't really see it, but it just fits up into the bottom of the speedometer and then threads on. Same way down here in the hub. All right, now let's see if we can get this bolt back in there again. Headlight is fastened. It's got one screw down here, about five o'clock area. It's got a, a little turned up spot that that hooks on. get it clocked right so it all lines up all right we'll have to take all that back apart when we go do the wiring and all that'll get stuffed inside the headlight hmm. 
Let's see, we got a brake cable. Got a customer. All right, sorry about the interruption, but that was a really good interruption. Uh, for you YouTube uh, followers out there, you need to go check out a friend of mine who was just here. That was the customer that I shut the camera off. I uh, didn't realize who it was or I'd have brought her on film. Um, go check out a channel called Junk In This Truck. I'll try and put a link in the description. Uh, Marcy Junebug does a lot of really cool stuff with Volkswagens, uh, some art stuff. Um, just has a really nice channel. So uh, you get a chance, click on the link that I post in the, in the description and go uh, give Marcy a like and some thumbs up, some comments on her videos. So while I was down, I went ahead and just uh, to speed this video up a little bit, finished up, buttoned up the last few details that we had. Um, handlebars, what all did I do? The throttle, the pod filter. I think I put the Kickstarter on. So the bike is pretty much complete. Uh, basically, here are the parts. I haven't put the tank or the cover in. Oh, I got the battery box yet, too. I didn't, didn't lay that out. Be, uh, but I'm not going to put those in yet because the wiring harness still needs to go in. And like I said, we're going to do that on a separate video. So I'll do that video next. And then we'll come back and have one last video on this bike where we install those last few parts and fire it up. One of the things I did notice we're going to have to do is that right handlebar looks to be tweaked out. I didn't uh, check that, obviously, since the bike was in parts when I got it. I couldn't really tell that that, I don't like the way that sits. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but this one looks pretty good, but that one looks to be bent over, which, you know, kind of may go along with, you know, it, it was wrecked and the fork gears were all messed up, so. But man, I, I tell you, she turned out really, really nice. Uh, let's get it down off the table and get it down, look at it from a, uh, from a rider's perspective. Oh, the other thing I gotta do is uh, I don't have a spring for the kickstand, so I still need to put a spring on the kickstand. See if I can roll this off of here without messing up a bunch of stuff. I love the way these bikes sit with the uh, the bigger tires and they sit up a little bit higher. Yeah, this panel bar definitely has been tweaked. We're gonna have to do some work to that. But I like, uh, you know, our turn signals. We got the ears pretty straight. They're in a good line. Hard to believe that that's the same bike that we had in a that came in in boxes and a pile. If I can get back far enough away from it. I don't know if you can see this handlebar. Eh, it still doesn't show up on camera, but this one feels like it's it's pushed back and out just a little bit. All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. And like I've said a couple times, we'll do one more video on the bike itself and finish up those last few details and then fire it up and take it for a ride. So appreciate you following along. Hope you enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the, the build. Um, it's a... Uh, feels good to get back in here and turn some wrenches again and, and get some bikes built and and see the results you know when you do clean them up and make them look a little bit better so 
Again, thanks for following along. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a comment, a like, you know, the, the whole routine. So we'll see you in a few days on the next video. Guys, have a great day. See ya.